Okay, so this is how to fix your driver because Netgear is a piece of shit. Alright, so this is how you fix your Netgear driver for the A6210. Alright, the A6210. The problem with the A6210 is that it, it doesn't want to understand what your driver is. And so you ha everybody has these weird issues where... They can't really get it to work properly. Don't go to their website. All right, don't do it. That's not the that's not the way to fix it. Um, and there are a lot of stupid issues with their driver. It just doesn't even want to understand what your driver like what your dongle even is. So, so this is one of the greatest things ever. So you go to MediaTek. This is a MediaTek driver, by the way. Go to MediaTek and type in this, all right? MediaTek support, type on this, all right? You want to go hit this for Windows, and you want to install the whole entire thing. Install it, all right? Install this driver. Delete your Netgear driver before you do this, by the way. Delete your Netgear driver completely. Install this driver. Go to Netgear. Uh, no, go to MediaTek support. Type this in. Click this. Install this. All right. Once you're done with that, restart your computer. Go back onto your computer and do these steps. Do these steps in order. All right. Go to File Manager. Go here. You have something that's going to be this PC or your name or whatever. This is the main directory for this. Right click. Go to properties on that. All right. There will be something called device manager. Hit device manager. All right. So this is a network network adapter. So click on that. Go to this. It's some weird wireless LAN name. It, it, it never transfers into something Netgear. I've had it do that one time where it said Netgear or whatever, but even when, with the Netgear drivers on, it doesn't even recognize this. So you want to right-click on this. You want to go to Properties. All right? Then you want to go to Driver. After you hit Driver, go to Update Driver. All right, so this is very interesting. The driver that you installed does not actually install itself. And this is an issue uh, because uh, you just installed a driver that is actually not really even installed. So you have to install it yourself. Go to Browse My Computer for Drivers. Let me click from a list of drivers on my computer. This is very interesting. So you'll have this, right? You'll have this or you might have Netgear underneath. Click Show Compatible Devices. This will tell you every single type of uh, wireless driver that you can possibly get. You want to scroll down all the way to MediaTek.Incorporated. Alright, after you hit MediaTek, you'll see all three of these, and they look very, very similar to what you have, because it's actually the same thing. It's the same driver. So, you want to click on this. This is not installed by default. This is the driver that you installed, but it's not actually installed onto your uh, onto your dongle yet. So you want to click on this. You want to go do next. You want to say yes. All right, and it will install it for you. Now this is very weird. I haven't installed it yet, but uh, I'm about to install it uh, so that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, and it's gonna do some weird stuff like that. It goes black for a little second or whatever and voila holy cow it works and it's on the newest version oh it's it's amazing and, and i have internet connection and it won't bother me when i turn on my computer how amazing is that wow computers i hope this helped you